day. My name is Dr. Elise Bolton. I'm the Director of Obstetrics and Gynaecology at Bundaberg Hospital. It's a long journey for me to have become an obstetrician and gynaecologist. Um, initially as a student, I absolutely hated it and decided that never in my life will I ever do obstetrics and gynaecology. And I was seriously considering a, um, a pathway in psychiatry. However, um, as the training progressed during my years, I actually came to love it and found that it is something that just came naturally to me and that I naturally gravitated to. It just made sense. Um, I love helping women. I love the um, combination of medicine and surgery. Um, and it just seemed the right, it just seemed the right career for me. I've done obstetrics and gynaecology both in a regional setting and a tertiary setting. Yes, a tertiary setting is quite exciting, you see a lot of things, but you don't get to spend the necessary time with the women, with the patients, to get to know them and to provide the best care possible. Working in a regional hospital gives you that, that time and that personal touch that you need to provide the best care necessary for your patients. If you do wish to apply to um, further your training in obstetrics and gynaecology, my advice would be to try and get some experience in a rural or a regional um, hospital setting. That will ensure that you get a good baseline training um, under constant supervision, which will um, increase your chances in getting a placement on the training program. Our team is dedicated to supporting junior doctors and medical students in their path um, in becoming um, whatever they want to be. If your special interest is obstetrics and gynaecology, um, we can help you get the necessary skills um, to um, further your career. We support doing Certificate of Women's Health, the Diploma in Obstetrics and Gynaecology, as well as we have registrars rotating through our unit. If you're required to develop special skills, um, even for basic GP training, um, we would be able to support you with that. The benefit is that we are a small unit, we are close-knit, and we rely on each and every one to do their part to provide a good service to our women. My tip would be to um, be very keen and to let your uh, supervisors know that you are interested in obtaining a specialist position to ensure that they give you every opportunity possible to further your skills. Living and working in a regional community makes you feel more as a part of the team. Everybody knows each other, you understand the background better, you just know how the system works and enables you to provide better care for your women. It is also good as a close-knit family that you socialise together, you get to know each other and you form long-lasting friendships going forward. An area specifically like Bundaberg, it's easy to get into the city if you need to for shopping, um, but you have stuff here that you won't get in the city. Just a few minutes drive, you can watch the uh, Monrepo Turtle Nesting Centre, which is one of the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. You won't get to see that in Brisbane. You can also go whale watching on a half day boat trip, go dive the Great Barrier Reef and find that the housing here is a lot cheaper compared to the city. You find a, you have a bigger house with a bigger yard um, for a much more affordable price compared to larger cities. I live on acreage and I have ducks, I have geese, I have sheep and cows. Not that I'm a farmer, but I like to play. Um, we've also planted a big orchard and come summertime we have ample fruits which will allow me to make jellies, dried fruits, chutneys and um, I also bring eggs into the hospital because my chicks are prolific layers. These are all things that you can do in a city and if you're inclined to that type of lifestyle this is the perfect place for you to come to. To become a specialist obstetrician gynaecologist, you will need to apply for fellowship through the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists. The fellowship is a six-year full-time training pathway consisting of a four-year core training program and a further two-year advanced training program. For the core training program, the trainees must rotate a minimum of two hospitals, complete a minimum of 23 weeks in a rural or regional hospital, complete a minimum of 46 weeks in a tertiary hospital and complete 46 weeks away from the base hospital. For the advanced training program, the trainees must complete six months of advanced training modules in generalist obstetrics and six months training in generalist gynaecology or 
For trainees who undertake subspeciality or academic streams, complete the obstetrics and gynaecology skills advanced training module over 12 months. Also need to complete 12 months elective or individualized training. To gain entry to the specialist training program, you would require registration with the General Medical Board of Australia. Be a citizen of Australia or New Zealand or a permanent resident of Australia and completed 24 months of pre-vocational medical education and training. The earliest year of entry is PGY3. The selection process to the Franscop training program takes place annually. You will have to submit an application prior to this process. Prospective trainees need to apply to the college to be selected onto the Franscop training program and also need to apply to Queensland Health Resident Medical Officer campaign to be issued an employment contract with the allocated Queensland Health facility. Once you've been accepted to the Franscop training program, training can only commence if you have an accredited training position and approval to commence your training. You might not have given it a second thought to come to a regional area, but I would strongly advise you to come and do so. Even if it's just for a year, you will find it hard to leave. The experience you get here is different compared to tertiary experience. You, you live medicine, you, you see your patients, you get to know them so well, and you get to practice all those skills that you require to be a good doctor, to be a good surgeon, to be a good listener. There's also added benefits, like I said previously, just the lifestyle, being able to go to the beach on a Saturday afternoon or for quickly after work when you're tired to just sit and watch the waves and just unwind and get rid of all the stresses of the day. You won't be sorry coming to a regional centre.